Greetings, folks. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome. This is James, King James the Ruthless 78 of TikTok. King James Bradshaw, TikTok Bad Boy 78. So, today I'm here to talk about Arbuckle and the Revitalization Committee. Now, I've talked to several organizations who are possibly willing to donate to the Arbuckle Revitalization Committee. They're not willing to give me money because they feel I might be shady. Okay, no problem with that. But, they might be willing to donate to the Arbuckle Revitalization Committee. Now, if they do this, they want to know that their money is used for what they are donating it for. Namely, certain operations. We have talked about possibly a skating rink, radio station and recording label three get up, where the radio the recording label records local garage bands, puts them on the radio, and pipes the new music over to the skating rink. Skating rink plays it, you skate, you have fun, an arcade, pool tables, and restaurant bar, concession stand. And sit there and good entertainment for everybody. Children like it, adults like it, old people can just sit there and listen to their music and watch people. It's a lot of fun for everybody. Everybody gets to have fun at a skating rink. And so we have a skating rink. Next to the skating rink is the recording label and the radio station, a two-story structure, right? And then you have over here, you got your fast food set up. We're thinking either Dairy Queen or White Castle. Everybody enjoys the White Castle burgers up at Dollar General. But those are microwave. They're not the real flavor. You want the real flavor, you gotta get to the real thing. So let's pipe in a, 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 a White Castle right here in Arbuckle. It's right off I-5, which means people are gonna get on and off of I-5 just to figure out what White Castle tastes like. Oh, a White Castle. That's an East Coast thing. <laughs> so... People will honestly come from all over the western side of the country on road trips to Arbuckle, California to try White Castle. That's a lot of money being spent in our local community. The railroad likes this idea. So, we got White Castle, a recording studio, a radio station, and a skating rink. Now, what do we else we need? Over on that area, there's always been a bar on that side of town. It used to be CJ's Bar and Grill. But there's no bar over there now. What if we start a bar? Say, Spirit Horse Saloon, where you can come in and there's a mechanical bull. There's a dance floor. They always play the rodeo up at the bar so you can watch the rodeo. Nice little bar. Be a good honky-tonk, somewhere to get off on. Once again, people are going to come from far away. Ride the mechanical bull, dance on the honky tonk, and drink. So, all in all, these are the things that were planned to be built on one property. And that's just one five acre, five acre property. They've also talked to buying another five acre property. That it's already been purchased by somebody, I do believe it was close to us. Um, and they're, they're talking about it um, over on Almond Avenue. It would be a perfect place for like a mall. I'm talking like a real, not a strip mall. I'm talking about a real two-story, big building mall with arcade and everything. A mall. You know, a mall right here on I-5. I-5 comes right directly through here. They can get off, get in the mall, go to the radio station, go to the, go to the skating rink. It's actual venues for entertainment here in Arbuckle, California. And these people are willing to donate to the Arbuckle Revitalization Committee, if this can get done, but only if Arbuckle Revitalization Committee will use the money for what they want them to use it for. That's why they won't give it to me. They think I'm going to spend it on drugs. I, I don't strike them as a really good businessman. Uh, that's okay. I'm not. I'm just trying to help out Arbuckle. <laughs> but also, they've talked about um, 6595 Wisconsin Lane, Wisconsin Road. They've talked about maybe buying that. That's a major purchase, $1,400,000. $1, 
that's a lot of money to put forward just to just to do something but they've noticed there are a lot of gearheads in Coosa County who rely on the the derby yearly for their racing needs what happens if we buy 6595 Wisconsin Lane and we turn it into a racing venue an indoor racing arena dirt track racing monster trucks motorcycles go-karts mini cars all going to dirt tracks badass we could sponsor four racers all the time and have four racers doing races all the time and then lease out the big money will come from the monster truck races and the and the racetrack rallies that come over and and register our venue as somewhere to race at but every day there'll be races where you can come in and for maybe 100 150 bucks enter your car in the race as long as you pass inspection you can race for the for the pot you know it's a lot of fun gets a lot of people involved and it'll get people off the freeway here these are the three venues that they've been talking about funding if if you can use their money correctly so think about it and i will get back on you later i will talk to them about maybe getting something to you um uh there's the the, the garrett avenue property is three hundred and fifty thousand dollars so we'll see about uh getting a five hundred thousand deposit to the to the arbuckle revitalization committee with instructions to buy garrett avenue for future development of a skating rink. That's what the investors want. We'll talk to you later.